Hello viewers, today I am going to talk about the biography of Baju Pavra, who is well known name in the music world as well as in layman. People better know Baju Pavra as the musician who defeated Sangeet Samrat Tansen in singing competition. Baju Bhavra, the musician of early 16th century, was the contemporary of Swami Haridas and Mia Tansen. Baju Bhavra's name is gently taken in the same way as the name of Tansen. Both the musician of Mughal Emperor Akbar's court have become the legendary figures in Hindustani music. Though Baju is a well-known name in the world of music, yet much of the information about him is based upon the legends, which lack the historical support. On the basis of these legends, it can be said that Baju Bhavra was contemporary of Sangeet Smrat Tansen, and both were disciples of Swami Haridas of the 16th century. Now let's look about the early life and musical training of Baju Bhavra. Baju Bhavra, whose real name was Bajanath Prashad or Bajanath Mishra, was an Indian Dhrupad singer. The exact place of birth is not well known. Baju Bhavra was born either in Chanderi, in Gwalior, or in Champarnar in Gujarat on Shard Purnima in 1542. He lost his father in his early life. The legend is that Baju's father had lost his life along with other sadhus for being compelled to compete in singing against Tansen and he was defeated in singing. The legend is that Emperor Akbar had ordered that whosoever will sing in Agra will have to compete with Sangeet Samrat Tansen in singing in his court and will have to lose his life in case of defeat. Baju's father along with other sadhus came to Agra. They were not aware of the Emperor Akbar's order and were singing devotional songs while passing through the streets of Agra. As a result, the sadhus were arrested and they were produced before Emperor Akbar. In spite of their humble requests and pleading about their ignorance of the order, they were forced to sing against Sangeet Samrat Tansen and the result was evident. This happened when Beju was merely eight years old. After the death of his father, Beju's mother had to struggle hard to bring him up. An ardent devotee of Krishna, Beju's mother decided to go to Brindavan and settle there. In Brindavan, while roaming here and there, Beju came in contact with Swami Haridas. Though there is another legend also, how Baju came in contact with Swami Haridas. On watching the interest of the boy in music, Swami Haridas accepted him as his disciple and allowed him to stay with him in his ashram in Nidhivan Nikunj. Baju's mother was overjoyed that her son would be groomed by the great saint musician Swami Haridas and she was free to stay in temple and devote her full time for Lord Krishna's worship. Under the rigorous training of Swami Haridas, Beju became an outstanding Dhrupad singer and excellent composer. He also imbibed the devotional temperament from Swamiji that turned him away from the worldly wealth. Thus he turned a versatile musician who was later known in the world of music as Baju Bhavra. When Baju's fame in singing spread, he was invited by the Raja of Chanderi, now in Guna district of Madhya Pradesh, 
to become his court musician. Later he became the musician in the court of Raja Man Singh Tomar of Gwalhar, now Gwalior in Madhya Pradesh, along with Naik Charju, Bakshu and others. Sultan Bahadur Shah of Gujarat had also patronized Peju. Later, like Tansen, he entered Mughal Emperor Akbar's court. It is said in Akbar's court, he determined to avenge his father's death. There is a story also behind how he reached Emperor Akbar's court. It is said that the young Beju started singing in the streets of Agra in his very melodious voice. As expected, he was arrested and brought in the court of Emperor Akbar to compete with Tansen. When the competition began, Tansen sang first. Tansen sang his self-composed rag, Mia Kitori. Soon the whole darbar was filled and echoed with his melodious voice. Emperor Akbar, the other courtiers and even the animals like deers who were nearby were all spellbound and came near to Tansen. Tansen caught one deer and put his mala, that is garland, around his neck. Such was the spell of Tansen singing. After Tansen, it was the turn of young Beju Bhavra to show his power of music. He was supposed to call the deer back with his magic of singing and recollect the mala of Tansen. Beju sought the blessings of his guru and started singing. Soon the whole atmosphere was filled with such a melodious singing that no one was left untouched. Emperor Akbar and the other audience was bewitched by the sweet music of Meju. Not only this, even the birds, deers and the other animals started collecting around him. The deer with the mala sat beside him calmly. Meju collected the mala and placed at the feet of Emperor Akbar. Akbar was enthralled by the singing of Beju Bhavra because he not only dared to compete but he had defeated Tansen in singing competition. Now it was Beju Bhavra's turn to avenge his father's death. But instead of taking revenge, the kind-hearted Beju Bhavra pleaded Akbar to spare Tansen's life. It is said this incident led the Emperor Akbar to amend his rules, according to which no one could sing in the streets of Agra without competing with Tansen in singing and thus risking one's life. Historian Abul Fazal has mentioned in his writings about Beju Bhavra defeating Tansen in singing competition in the court of Emperor Akbar. Besides Tansen, renowned singers Baba Ramdas, who composed Ramdas Malhar, and Naik Charju, who composed Charju Ke Malhar, were Beju's contemporaries. Now, about Beju's disciple Kopalal. Another famous legend regarding Beju, which proved to be the turning point in his life is that Gopal Lal, his beloved student, left him and he became insane. That is why he was called Bhavra, the crazy. Now there is another legend how Gopal Lal was found by Beju when he was in Brindavan. It is said one day when Beju was practicing and was in deep meditative mood, he was disturbed by the cry of the newly born baby in the bush nearby. Beju immediately went and found the baby boy there. Beju picked him up, named the child Gopal and brought him up like his own son. Beju taught Gopal 
all his music. He also put him under the advanced training of his own guru, Swami Haridas. When Beju was invited by the Raja of Chinderi to become his court musician, Gopal also went there. And there Gopal was attracted towards the beautiful girl named Prabha. Gopal married Prabha and they were blessed with a girl child whom they named Meera. Beju found the family complete and he was deeply attached with the little girl Meera. According to some scholars, it was that time when Beju was invited to Gwalior to become the music guru of the talented queen of Raja Man Singh Tomar named Mrignani. In the meantime, in the absence of Beju, Gopal, for seeking a promising career in Kashmir, at once left for Kashmir, along with his wife and daughter. When Beju came back, he was shocked to find no one there. He was so shocked that he lost his senses. From then only, he was known as Beju Bhavra, which means the crazy Beju. The king of Kashmir employed Gopal Lal as a court musician. After wandering here and there in search of the family, the crazy to see the little Meera, Beju heard about Gopal that he was in Kashmir. Beju anyhow reached in that city in the tattered clothes. His crazy appearance and such a melodious singing caused sensation in the city. But it is said, Gopal Lal refused to recognize his father-like guru, seeing him in such a pitiable condition. After this, the singing competition was arranged between Beju Bhavra and Gopal Lal in the court of the king of Kashmir. Beju sang first and Gopal Lal was to respond. It is said, that Beju poured all the anguish of his heart in a dhrupad of rag bhimpla singh, which is Kahe ko garva kino guni jo kahayo re Kahe ko garva kino guni jo kahayo re Kehet Beju bavre suni ho gopal lal guru ko bisarte kahan fal payo re Beju sang with such an effect that Gopal Lal broke down and it is said he died on the spot. After this, Beju trained Gopal's daughter Meera. Beju created a new kind of Malhar which is known as Meera Ke Malhar after the name of Gopal's daughter Meera. It is said after the whole incident about Gopal, Beju renounced the word and disappeared in the forests of Kashmir. Though nothing is known about Beju's last days and death, yet some scholars believe that Beju Bhavra died in 1613 at the age of 71. Now his compositions. Some Drupad compositions mentioned in Sushila Mishra's book some immortals of Hindustani music are believed to be Beju Bhavra's composition in which he addresses Gopal Lal. For example, Kahe Beju Bhavra Sunho Gopal Lal Hiran Bulave Pasan Pighlave Teri Lak Meri Ek. This Rupert composition narrates about the power of music which can call the deers and melt the stones. Another composition is about the depth of the ocean of music. Nad atha jaki gati agam apar. Another one on music is Nad samudra par nahi payo Pratham nad bhed bhayo Brahm ved ucharo Nad samudra par nahi payo Pratham Nad Ved Bhayo, Brahma Ved Ucharo, Sarada Narada Tumbru Gandhav, 
कहे बैजू बावरा सुन हो गोपाल राय एनदर थ्रूपत इन प्रेस ऑफ ब्रह्मा इज तुम्हें भक्तन कहे अनेक होते भर रहो निरंजन निराकार बैजू तुम ही सार तुम ही राजा दिस शोज बैजूज थ्रूपत्स कवर अ वास्ट रेंज ऑफ थीम्स सच एज माइथोलॉजी म्यूजिकोलॉजी एंड फिलोसफी एक्सेट्रा बैजू बावरा A Hindi film was made on the life of Baju in 1952. In the movie, Baju has been presented as a musician who believes that Tansen is responsible for his father's death and attempts to avenge by challenging Tansen for musical competition and thus defeating him. The songs of the film Baju Babra have become an all time hit because these have been sung by the two most renowned maestros ustad amir khan and pandit dv paluskar who did the playback singing for tansen and beju babra respectively this is the great tribute to the great music yogi who unlike tansen always remained detached from the material world and spent his life in the state of renunciation and lost in music all the time much of the information about beju babra is based upon legends which are popular in the world of music even after almost 5 centuries these seem to be so true that the music scholars like acharya braspati sushila mishra and others have mentioned in their books about these on the basis of the information available i have tried to draw a sketch of beju babra before you thank you